What can I do when processing stops and fails to complete the scan data? If it's indeed a frustrating situation, we are worried about losing data if we turn off the computer. But leaving it as is makes it impossible to scan other patients. We've encountered similar situation in our clinic. Admiral? Yes, further. Computer cell by clinic. However, now this can still happen. It can be extremely frustrating if we complete our patient scan and the data fails to save. We often find ourselves praying for the completion of the same process while looking at the screen with the patient. If praying doesn't work, what would be a better way to handle this situation? In fact, it's my responsibility to fix this problem, so I need to be prepared for this kind of situation. When I contact the medical health center, I received this official answer that I will translate into English. First, check Windows Update, and next, check for graphic card update. However, this other bike doesn't actually solve the problem. In fact, we can even exit out of the program to check for update because we can close the test window until processing is complete. So, what should we do? From my experience, I found that there are three main causes for these situations and three ways to tackle them, summarized at my feet below. 1. Insufficient hardware capacity. To solve this, make sure you have enough space. 2. Unstable internet connection. Check Wi-Fi signal strength. Make sure you have a strong signal strength. 3. Cloud stagnation. In this case, there is something interrupting getting into the file to cloud. This is a difficult case, so I ask my staff to call me. By summarizing and posting their measures next to the computer, I can reach the number of times I'm called, and anyone can deal with factors 1 and 2. Let's take a closer look at each factors. The first case is insufficient hardware capacity. In the case of cloud storage, it's usually not a problem because they just simply upgrade their capacity. Although there is a lot of cloud storage space, you need to regularly monitor if your hard drive has sufficient space. If your hard drive is cluttered, your computer will slow down and sometimes you won't be able to save it or scan data. Keep in mind the data is for save on your local hard drive before it's uploaded on the cloud. Managers might not be aware of this, but it's very important to know. So, it's a good habit to check the remaining hard disk capacity every Monday morning before your first patient comes in. Also, it's best not to install other programs on the computer used for scanning if possible. I maintain a lean state with the unnecessary clutter by not installing programs like Kindle or Zoom on the scanning computer. The second problem is an unstable internet connection. In the case of a wired internet connection, such incidents are relatively rare. However, wired WAN makes it much more difficult to move cards around. But when going wireless, the signal sense can suddenly drop depending on the location of the scanner, influenced by everything from distance to the presence of walls. In such cases, if we connect a wired WAN cable, the problem can be solved immediately, just like performing an emergency blood test fusion. That's why we have a wide web on standby that can be quickly plugged in for emergencies. It's like a refueling car. Another tip is to install a Wi Fi boost on the ceiling. You can usually purchase one for around $50. If you install it in the center of your clinic ceiling, the signal will be reprinted immediately from the ceiling and minimize signal interference. It's a simple way to prevent data transfer delay. So I highly recommend it. The first situation is more difficult to fix than the first two cases. It happens when the data doesn't move from the computer to the cloud, like congested load. Wesley, as mentioned earlier, scan data is first saved on the computer and then transferred to the cloud. However, when problem number one and two are combined, 
data can get lost along the way. In this, this situation, if you turn off the computer, you may lose your data. So, we can combine the solution from both problems 1 and 2. First, try deleting unnecessary folders to free up storage space. Then, ensure a stable internet connection. For example, if you are using a laptop, delete unnecessary files from your computer download folder and connect a RAM cable to switch from a wireless to a wired environment. From the computer's perspective, this is like widening data highway and resolving traffic congestion. However, if this combination doesn't work, you need to contact many support for this emergency. To prevent this processing problem, I customized a mobile card for my clinic. The card was made with a cheap computer desk, and there is only a monitor which is card connected to a desk computer on the side instead of a laptop. Of course, wireless transmission can be used with wireless video transmission device, but I use a long RGB cable to minimize the lag. Grab cables are much more durable than my cable and have a low chance of disconnecting. Another advantage is that you can work with a large monitor. This card was set up to be used from two adjacent dental chairs, minimize the distance you need to move. Also, I used the i700 wireless so I can scan naturally without any inconvenience caused by tangled wires. It took a while to find this kind of setup, but it made things much easier. So, when purchasing your scanner, be sure to consult with your seller about the best location to place it. This way, you can create a comfortable scan environment with minimal data transfer problem.